I agreed with the recent decision to pass an ordinance to fund various street paving and other improvements in the town. Uh, if you remember, about a year ago or so, this same ordinance went up uh, for review before the council and it actually failed, it didn't pass, which is something that doesn't, doesn't happen often. Uh, it sat for a while, there was a lot of uh, contentious discussion over it, and then eventually uh, Mayor Manley and uh, Councilman Ryan got together and actually negotiated the content of the ordinance. They went back and looked at it and they came to a happy medium. Um, I always like when we really do improvements in the town of the actual streets, the sewer lines, the water lines, um, things like that is the principal job of government is to maintain these public facilities. But I also think that there's some uh, give and take that's been sorely lacking in the town council and this was an example of when we actually got that kind of give and take and if we had this as part of our usual process I think we'd be a lot better off for it. Things I've disagreed with, I have disagreed with most of the operating budgets that have been presented before the town. Um, I think that when you really start to get down into them and look at them, they are bloated beyond belief. Uh, there is a lot that can come out of there in terms of back office expenses and other costs that are not really public facing services that we can maintain the same level of service to the town and the same level of operations that we have without hitting the taxpayer in the wallet as hard. And the other thing I think is that we don't get that negotiation. I can't think of a lot of times where the council have said, this particular line item we disagree with this, we're going to cut this line item. We really don't see that in the debate. There's a lot of argument about tax levies, tax rates, total budgets, but I don't think anyone's drilling down into these budgets hard enough to actually really look what we're spending money on and why. And they need to look at them from the ground up and say, what are we trying to accomplish here? How do we actually need to run the town? If we looked at this and built this from the ground up, what would we actually need here in terms of resources to get the job done? And I don't think everyone's ever looked at that budget from fresh eyes. They kind of look at last year's budget and say, everything in there we need to do but we need to up that by 3% just because everything's more expensive than it ever was. And I think that that's a poor budget practice. I think we can get a lot better than that. Okay, time I've agreed with the town council uh, would have to be the, the Hilltop Field Project. Um, that, that complex is going to be the jewel of Exus County and be not only a source of additional revenue for the town, but it's something that our children will have for years and years to come to play on, on nice new fields and give us a chance to rest some of our additional fields. Um, our, our sports programs are busting at the seams and, and you know we need, these, we need these facilities not only for our children but the adults in, in Verona. The sports programs for them have increased a hundredfold in the last five, ten years. So it's not only just the, it's the children, it's the adults who are using it, plus the revenues. Uh, times I disagree with it, uh, I'd have to go back to the, uh, the constant bickering. Uh, it's not necessary. We, we've got councilmen getting attorneys. We've got councilmen suing our manager. Um, it's, there's no need for that in this, Verona. This is, this is a great town. We need to work together. Differences of opinion is great. It opens up tremendous dialogue. But we need to work together. We shouldn't have a 3-2 to two vote on everything. We should have a 5-0 vote. We should all be working to that common goal. Not just, well, I need to vote no because this one says yes. We, we need to work together much better than we do now. We often have disagreement on the council, but I almost think that's healthy. It's important to have that dialogue, and that's good for the township. But let's focus first on an agreement that we all had. It was a 5-0 vote, and most recently, that was the police contract, which we worked on for over a year. We had good cooperation and communication with the PBA, with the PBA representative, with the, our town attorney, and the council. So there was four components, including the town manager. And we really worked together back and forth and came to an agreement and restructured the PBA contract where it really worked for the township and it worked for the PBA. Uh, we increased steps, we reduced salaries uh, on the early steps, we extended the stay within the steps, but it was really a coming together and a confluence of a lot of ideas and working together and trust at different levels, but ultimately we delivered a contract which helped us restructure the 
uh, expense uh, of the police department, which is a critical department in our town to protect and serve the people of the town. But in the end, we came to an agreement and we signed a contract which the police were extremely happy with, the, the council was happy with, the manager and the town attorney were happy with, and in the end, we're already seeing fruits of this past contract because we've had a lot of turnover. I think we've had five or six new officers, so they're now utilizing this new contract, and the citizens of Rona are see, seeing the savings. The existing police officers are not as affected, and new officers are having the opportunity to work in town. They're under a new structure. It's a good structure, but it's a fair structure, and it's an affordable structure for us long term. So that was a great win for us that we all agreed we all agreed on, and it was a bonus to the entire township. Something like that should be looked at uh, by other towns, and I think really set the tone for other departments and other townships to follow. We have we provided them with really a blueprint, so it was groundbreaking. So I'm proud of that, and everyone in the township should be, including the council. That was agreement. Disagreement is clearly in the budget. I voted against the last three budgets. I'm a against raising taxes without an understanding why, without eliminating the wasteful spending, uh, without eliminating uh, wasteful departments with no purpose. Uh, we talk about the IT department. To me, IT in Verona has no purpose. We can have a consultant step in. But I've been a dissenting vote in the last three budgets. This upcoming budget looks to me identical to the 14 budget, so I'm not sure why I'm going to vote for the 15 budget when it's identical to the 14 budget. It's just 12 months later, but we'll look at it and we'll evaluate it. But I voted against the last three budgets, and I'm proud of that because you have to stand up for the wasteful spending or to the wasteful spending and exposing that and dialoguing on that. But we have... Uh, departments without purpose and we just don't have the money to spend and waste taxpayer funds in uh, in reckless manners. Um, one of the times I think is the hilltop field. Uh, the hilltop field will be completed, the baseball field. Um, I was up there yesterday. Um, the turf is somewhat down on the field. Um, I'm somewhat jealous of the young families because um, that decision of the hilltop was an agreement of the council. Um, the young families are going to be able to have their children um, on this outstanding field. It's going to be a great. It's going to be. It's it's going to be a jewel of North Jersey, um, and I can't wait for that whole complex to be finished. It's so. I'm so excited uh, to be a part of that. Um, it's it started many years ago um, by so many different groups and uh, stories I've heard where how many times people didn't have field space and and so on, and, and they um, and the community um, needed to work together with the field state space. So the council worked together um, to get that passed. Um, the part that I don't like, um, and I don't agree with the council, as I see so much of somewhat agenda style um, in, in, um, in the politics. I don't like that. I feel it's important to be open. I feel it's important to be able to, um, to work together and I know it's you know it hasn't been so much of a work together kind of style, and I don't agree with that. And I would like to see that change as we move forward. 